Esta noche toca entrevista con Julita Witt, la protagonista de Mask. Espero que os guste. Tú eres el mejor Schauspieler en la vida. No podemos leer a todos. Sie pueden sich pueden ser selbstverständlich wieder bewerben. Schauen Sie mal. Ich weiß nicht, ob Sie das interessiert, aber ich habe neulich eine Aufführung in dieser kleinen privaten Schule in Britz gesehen. Nicht schlecht. I don't think that there are so many films uh, done in Germany uh, which uh, are based on Giallo. It's, um, I guess that Andreas Marshall is uh, a fan <laughs> and he's inspired by those films and um, maybe we will, we, will, we will see more of those films in Germany in the future but um, uh, one of the, he's the first one who did this in Germany. I would say these are two different uh, type of girls. They meet each other in this acting school and um, just feel something for each other. There is, there is a special sympathy, maybe somehow something like love. But they, um, Stella, Stella wants to learn, Stella wants to become an actress and she, uh, she's fascinated by Cecile. Um, she wants, um, somehow she, she, she realizes that something's going on and um, there is something like a, like a, is that a secret uh, Cecile has and um, I guess he wants to, to know what is happening in the school. A little bit more effort maybe, <laughs> um, but I try to uh, um, prepare, I mean prepare a role like another role and uh, okay it's um, a little bit different because it's, uh, it's uh, like a horror movie, uh, I mean terror movie and um, there is more blood and all, but I, I didn't see the blood while I, we were shooting the movie. I mean for me it was, uh, it was uh, different. We had one scene where I was hanging with the uh, um, head to the floor. <laughs> I thought it would be dangerous but it was not dangerous. It was. Uh, but on the other hand, it was um, very interesting to me to do, to do this movie and uh, I like the psychological side of, of the role. I like the role, yes. I like the... the I was very, um, you say, um, interested of um, thinking how, how, how I would uh, do this, thinking how I could um, put it on stage, this role. You know, it's, I liked it, really. She loves acting, of course, and she's uh, a little bit broken, I would say, in this in this movie. But um, she would do, I guess, for acting, she would do anything. Um, she, um, yes, and she's passionate. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess there are there are uh, similarities. Um, <laughs> I guess that I love I love acting as well, <laughs> and I'm, I'm I'm passionate as well. Say and uh, mm, and uh, what is maybe similar to, to, to Cecile and me is that um, Cecile in some kind uh, is uh, like a, she's not an outsider, but she's somehow the point that she's in this uh, other room uh, that she's separated from the others makes her uh, like a little, like an outsider and uh, what was for me um, in my personal life uh, what was uh, I felt something like this when I came from Poland to Germany so um, to get used to the new culture and uh, it was sometimes a little bit like the feeling was uh, similar I know I've been knowing Andreas the, the director uh, um, 12 years now so he is uh, he was a teacher in my acting school and um, so he uh, 
he's like um, from the beginning of my career and uh, so he was in the jury uh, uh, when I came to the school and then he like he was the whole time um, my teacher in camera basically. and then after years uh, when I uh, 2004 I left my school my acting school and um, 2010 he asked me if uh, so we met and he asked me if I would like to play a role in his movie so he offered me this role and I of course said yes because <laughs> I, I, um, yeah, I love his movies so it was a very a great honor, honor and pleasure to me. <gasps> he was very flexible <laughs> so he has uh, he had of course his imaginations um, how the role could be but I had very I was almost very free to um, to, to um, play play the role so I was uh, yeah flexible <laughs> but of course he, he had his he had directions uh, but it was like a, we worked together on the role sometimes I thought maybe the whole story already <laughs> happened in, in the past or similar like this but um, I, I don't think so <laughs> I already was in Valencia hmm. uh, when I was 19 and <clears throat> I was there for two weeks in a Spanish family and before I was in Costa Brava <laughs> when I was uh, 17 I guess, 10 days with my friends so yeah I was here two times, it's my third time now. <laughs> well. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I, um, if, if, if a director comes to me and offers me a role in a horror movie, I would say yes. <laughs> um, but I am basically in a theatre play now, but that's a comedy. And, um, and I'm going to shoot a movie in, um, in the winter, but it will be more like an um, art movie. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's different, depends on the role. Um, I, uh, I look for inspirations um, in um, books and other movies, uh, for example, and then I, I try to, to ask myself uh, what, what, what kind of girl, person, character could this be? And then I um, just create a biography. I look in my daily life uh, what 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 kind of person could this be? You know, what uh, what does she love? What what does she like? What does she not like? And how could she, how could she react in a special situation? Matthäus Godula, der Mann, der diese Schule gegründet hat. Er hat gesagt, der Tanz des Schauspielers auf der Messe klingt. Das Ungewiss dahin führt. Glauben Sie, Sie können ihn gehen. Worüber? Die Methode. Hello to TedOweekend.com uh, and I'm very happy to be here today and um, thank you for the invitation. <laughs> <laughs>